Hello and welcome back to the Honeybug Crafty Corner where today we have a paper plate, some black paint, some white paint, which can only mean one thing with our pumpkin in the background. We're gonna paint some little finger painted ghosts on this pumpkin. It is a super easy craft, super easy to include your little ones if they're old enough and it makes for the cutest decorations for the outside of your house, inside. It's just truly one of the best crafts you could do this season. So you want to start by putting some of each paint on the plate, that way you have access to it. You're going to take your thumb, make sure your pumpkin's all ready, and dip it in the white paint and gently roll it onto the pumpkin. Now, don't worry about making each of the ghosts symmetrical or perfect. It's cute if you kind of drag it down or smear it some, if they're a little curvy or flowy, you know, they're ghosts. And so they're going to look cute no matter what. And I feel like that really helps take the pressure off making this perfect, especially if your little one is doing it with you because however you make them look, it's going to be unique to you and your little one. It's going to be cute. You really can't mess this craft up. So shake off the perfectionism and get creative and fun. You can even add little details more than what I'm doing to each of these ghosts if you want to give them a little personality as well. The biggest thing is you're going to want to make sure the paint is dry after you're done putting the white ghost on it because if it's not, the black can smear. If you don't have time, no worries. It still looks cute. It just might be a little bit more neat if you let it dry first. So now we get to have a little drying party. All right, after the paint is dry, you're gonna get your handy dandy paintbrush. You can also use a toothpick or even your fingers if you wanna get it a little more fun and messy. But you're gonna dip it into the black paint and you're going to decorate the ghost face. Now the simple, most traditional way is two dots for eyes and then a bigger dot for a mouth that's kind of going ooh. But you can make them smile, you can give them bigger eyes in their mouths, really get into the fun, unique personalities of each of these ghosts. The fun part about this craft is if you do have a little one you can do it with, you can split up the ghosts and work on it at the same time. You can make them look like you. There's really so many options. You can get different paint to give them clothes or a bow tie or some hair. So the possibilities are endless to how you want to decorate these little ghosts and the pumpkin as a whole. And speaking of pumpkins, a little Halloween fun fact for you is that jack-o'-lanterns actually weren't the first decoration used on Halloween or what was known as All Hallows Eve, like you might think. People would actually carve out gourds and squashes and even turnips to light the way for what they believed to be good spirits. And so, while I can only imagine how frustrating it might be to carve out a turnip, you can apply this really cute painting technique to other vegetables like squashes and gourds that might have really fun colors in them too. And you can make a little display of all your painted vegetables because what says Halloween like a painted turnip on your porch. I, I couldn't tell you. But that's just encouragement to find ways to get your kids involved this season to celebrate in a super easy and special way that they'll remember. So you'll just keep finishing up decorating the little faces of those ghosts. I chose to only decorate one side of this pumpkin in order to save time, but you can do the whole pumpkin. Like I said, you can add on little decorations like that or the word boo in the spaces between the ghosts. But once you're done, you have a really cute decorated ghostly pumpkin that is going to make the perfect decoration for your house. So please, Tag us in all of your creative spooky crafts this season. We want to see every one of them. So tag us at shophoneybug.com and don't forget to have the spookiest of spooky seasons.